Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. Hi guys, I'm Desiree and today we're going to do the top 25 Italian phrases that means useful words in Italian. Ciao. Hello. Ciao is the first word and it's a really useful word because you can use that to your friends to say ciao, ciao, but not to people that you don't really know. Buongiorno. Good morning. Buongiorno, that means good morning, and you can use it with friends or even with people that you don't know. So, buongiorno, buongiorno, and people can even answer to you back, ciao, that it's okay, but use buongiorno with everyone and you will be safe. Buonanotte, good night. Buonanotte, so good night. You can use it, of course, in the night, but it's a word that we don't really use to people that we don't know, so it's like ciao. If people say to you, ciao, to say bye, you can answer buonanotte, but just if you know that they're really going to bed, otherwise it's good evening, so buonasera. Sono desire. I'm desire. Sono, that means I am. You can use it with your nationality, so I'm Italian, sono italiana, or with your name, I'm desire, sono desire. Mi chiamo desire. My name is desire. Mi chiamo Desiree means my name is Desiree, and you can use that to introduce yourself to people that you may know that you don't know. It's okay because it's formal and informal at the same time. It's okay. Mi chiamo Desiree. Come ti chiami? What's your name? Come ti chiami? So, what's your name? Mi chiamo Desiree. Tu, come ti chiami? Piacere di conoscerti. Nice to meet you. You will always use piacere di conoscerti. Come stai? How are you? Come stai? That means how are you? But it's something that you use with your friends, not really with people that you don't know, because in that case it would be something like come sta? Bene, grazie. E tu? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Bene, grazie. E tu? That means fine, thanks. And you? Per favore. Please. Then we have a really useful word that is per favore, that means please. So you can put it at the end of any phrase and it will give you a nice way of asking. Even if you don't know how, how to say may or can, just add per favore and it will help you. Grazie. Thank you. And to say thank you, you will say grazie. Grazie. Prego. You're welcome. And to answer you're welcome, you have prego. So if you ask something and add per favore at the end, and then the people will do something, you can say grazie, and the other one will answer prego. Sì. Si. Yes. Sì, si, that means yes. Of course, it's really useful because vuoi mangiare qualcosa? Would you like something to eat? Sì. Si. Yes. No. No. And if you manage to say no, because it's hard to say no to an Italian offering you some food, then you can say no. But it's the same Italian and English, no. Va bene. Okay. Then we have va bene, that means okay. So again, when people ask you, do you want this? You can say va bene, so it's okay. Scusi. Excuse me. Scusi, that means excuse me. But to people that you don't really know, so it would be like, excuse me, do you know where, where the station is? Scusa, sai dove la stazione? Scusa. I'm sorry. If you know the people you're talking to, you should use scusa, that means I'm sorry. Che ora è? What time is it? Che ora è? That means what time is it? You can use it in a formal or informal way, it's the same, so you can say scusa, che ora è? Or scusi, che ora è? It's the same. Dove è la stazione? Where is the station? When you want to know where some place is, so where is location, you will say Dove è la stazione? That is, for example, the station. Posso usare il bagno? May I use the restroom? When you need to ask permission for something, you will use the word posso. That means, can I? So, in this case, posso usare il bagno? Can I use the toilet? And I would add please, so per favore. And the answer would be yes, sure. Sì, prego. Grazie. Vorrei qualcosa da mangiare. I would like something to eat. When you need something, you can use the word vorrei, that means I would like to. So, vorrei mangiare, I would like to eat. 
vorrei bere, I would like to drink, vorrei dormire, I would like to sleep, uh, we can go on forever, but still, vorrei, and then add the verb that you need. Posso avere il conto? Can I get the check? When you finish to eat and you want to check, you can say, posso avere il conto? That means, can I have the check? And if you want to be more polite, you can say, posso avere il conto, per favore? That means, can I have the check, please? A presto. See you soon. When you say bye to your friends and you don't really know when you're going to meet them again, you will say a presto, that means see you soon. A dopo. See you later. If you know that you're going to meet them later on, you can say a dopo, that means see you later. Dove posso mangiare la pizza? That means where can I eat a pizza? If you really no- want to know where you can eat a good pizza, you can add buon, that means good, So it will be, dove posso mangiare una buona pizza? Of course, you cannot use pizza, but another type of food that you really want to eat. And that would be maybe lasagna or maybe gelato. So you can say, dove posso mangiare un buon gelato? Or, dove posso mangiare una buona lasagna? We learned how to ask, how are you? And to answer, I'm fine, thanks. But what about if you're not really fine? So you can say, così così, that means more or less. Or male, that means bad, really bad. Guys, that's it for today. We finished the top 25 Italian phrases. And which one was your favorite one? Mine is mm, così così, that if you remember, means mm, not so well. But anyway, remember to subscribe. Bye bye. Ci vediamo. Hi guys, here we are today with the top 25 Italian verbs. Let's go see them. Essere, to be. To be or not to be one. Essere is just the plain form that we're going to change for every person that we use. So in the case of me, I can say io sono desire. That means I am desire, but the verb is still essere, to be. Avere, to have. Avere means to have, but be careful because in Italian it's not the same as in English. So for example, to say I am 20 years old, you don't say essere, so you don't use to be, but you say I have 20 years old. Io ho 20 anni. Fare, to do. Basically, fare, it's a general verb. Like, you can use it with a lot of things. We have the specific verbs, but if you go with fare, it's safe. You can use it anytime. (laughs) Fare a cake, fare a discussion, everything it's fare. Dire, to say. About dire, there is a fun phrase that we use, or maybe our grandmas, anyway, and it goes like, tra il dire e il fare c'è di mezzo il mare. That means, from saying to doing, there is the sea in between. So, the meaning is, it's not so easy to go from saying to doing things. Potere, can. Potere means can, and it's really useful because you can use it to ask permission. So, posso usare il bagno? Can I use the bathroom? Potere as a verb means can, but potere with the article before, that is il potere, means the power. Puoi passarmi lo zucchero, per favore? Means, can you pass me the sugar, please? Sugar, because I like sweet things. Volere, want. Volere means want, but it's kind of a strong way to say things. So, if you want to say, I would, I would like to, it's vorrei. There's a famous phrase with volere that it's volere e potere. And it means if you really want to do something, you can do it. You can manage somehow. Sapere. To know. When you're wrong and you tell people that you know that you're wrong, somehow they're happier. So if you're in Italy and you're late, and it always happens, to me at least, you can say, I know, I know, I know I'm late. Lo so, lo so, so di essere in ritardo. And that will calm things. Like people will be like, okay, okay, ti aspetto. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. But anyway, for us, it's kind of normal to be late, so don't worry too much if you're late. Stare, to stay. And you can use it with a location or with a condition. Do you want to go out tonight? Vuoi uscire stasera? You can say, no, I'm staying home. No, sto a casa. But it can also mean a condition. So if people ask you, hey, how are you? Come stai? Sto male means I'm not good. I feel sick. Also, you can use that to say that you are doing something. You're in the process of doing something. Sto studiando. I'm studying. Now. Something that's right now. Dovere. 
must. So if you have to work or if you have to do homework and people ask you, hey, again, do you want to go out tonight? No, I can't. Devo studiare. Devo lavorare. I have to study. I have to work. Prendere. To take. Prendere means to take. You can take a bus. Quindi prendere un pullman. Take the underground. Prendere la metro. Be careful because we don't use prendere, for example, with a bath or a shower. We don't take a shower, but we do a shower. So fare una doccia. Vedere. To see. Vedere means to see. And it's something that you can see, <laughs> that you can spot. But you can also use it as meeting, like, che cosa fai stasera? What are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm seeing my mother. Oh, vedo mia mamma. That means I'm going to meet her, probably have dinner together, but it's something planned. It's something that I know already I'm going to do. Andare, to go. So in case you really, really want to go to the sea, you can say, voglio andare al mare, vieni con me. I want to go to the sea. Do you want to come with me? In my case, it would be, I would really like to go to Australia. Do you want to come with me? Voglio veramente andare in Australia. Vuoi venire con me? Venire, to come. In fact, venire means to come. And when you invite someone, you can say, do you want to come tonight? Vuoi venire stasera? Dare, to give. Can you give me some advice, please? Puoi darmi un consiglio, per favore? Or when a baby is crying and you're like, here, here, look what I'm giving you. So, guarda, guarda, guarda cosa ti do. That's a way of giving. <laughs> parlare, to talk. We don't have the verb to speak, so we use parlare for both of them. I'm talking to you, sto parlando con te. Or I speak Japanese, io parlo giapponese. Agli italiani piace parlare molto. Italians like to talk a lot. Can you say that? Trovare, to find. Trovare, that means to find. So you can say something like, I find this book really interesting. Trovo questo libro molto interessante. Or I can't find my pen anymore. Non trovo più la mia penna. Or to me, I never find my passport anymore in front of the check-in gates. And I'm like, can you please help me? And then I find it again. So yes, ho trovato il passaporto. Sentire, to hear. Like I can hear people screaming. Sento gente urlare. But it's not the same as saying listening to music, for example. That would be ascoltare la musica. Lasciare, to leave. Leave a comment. So, lasciare un commento. Also, there are some teenagers that say a lot of time, lasciatemi il mio spazio, <laughs> that means leave my space. Guardare, to look. Guardare, that means to look, and it would be like, hey, look at me while I'm talking to you, so guardami mentre parlo, or can you have a look at this? Puoi guardare un attimo questo? Like, if you want to ask for some advice, or... Even maybe watching television, we would say guardare la televisione. Or even a movie, guardare un film. Like, I really like to watch horror movies, so io guardo film horror. Mettere, to put. Mettere, that means to put, so you can put your bag on the table. Puoi mettere la tua borsa sul tavolo. Or can you put away those games, please? Puoi mettere via quei giochi, per favore? Pensare, to think. I think that horror movie wasn't scaring at all. Penso che quel film non fosse spaventoso per niente. Or, I think you can do better. Penso che tu possa fare di meglio. Passare, to pass. Passare, that means to pass. So, can you please pass me the salt? Puoi passarmi il sale, per favore? Or, oh, I passed the exam. Ho passato l'esame. Credere, to believe. Credere, that means to believe. But in Italian, we don't use that much to believe, like, oh, I believe I can do that. Of course, you can say it and people will understand you, but that's more, I think I can do it. So, penso di farcela more than credo di farcela. Believe, so credere, is more about a religious meaning. Portare, to bring. Portare, that means to bring. So, if I'm inviting you to my party tonight and I ask you, can you bring the wine? Puoi portare il vino? Bring the gelato. Bring the ice cream. Mangiare, to eat. Mangiare, that means to eat. So you can't go to Italy and not eat anything. So you need to know this verb. Yeah, that's it for the top 25 Italian verbs. Remember to subscribe and see you soon. Hi guys, I'm Desiree and today we're gonna do the top 25 Italian nouns.
Let's start with the first one. Cosa. Thing. Cosa means thing, so you can use it to ask about something you don't really know the name of, like che cosa è quello? What's that thing? But in Italian it's really useful because you can use it when you don't understand what someone said, like cosa? What? Can you repeat it? That's the meaning of cosa. Also you can use it to say in different situations, like what are you going to do tonight? Cosa farai stasera? Or cosa ti piace mangiare? What do you like to eat? Anno, year. Anno means year, and you can use it to ask how old are you, so quanti anni hai. Uomo, man. Who is that man? Chi è quell'uomo? That man is my father. Quell'uomo è mio padre. Giorno, day. Giorno means day, and you can use it to know which day of the week are you in, like che giorno è oggi? Which day is it today? Lunedì, Monday. Or you can say buongiorno. That means good day or good morning. Volta. Time. Volta means time. Like, let me pay this time. Fai pagare me questa volta. Or, once upon a time, c'era una volta. Also, we have a way of using that, that it's a bit scary. Like, I remember my teacher saying to me, questa volta passi, ma la prossima. And this is not a good sign. Anyway, so it means this time is okay, but the next one... And they don't finish the phrase that it's the most scary thing. But be careful not to use volta asking for what time is it, because that's a different word and it will be che ore sono. Casa, home. A casa can be big or small, but the best thing is when people tell you that your casa is accogliente. That means that they feel at their home even if it's not. So you can say, you want to come to my home tonight? Vuoi venire a casa mia stasera? Parte, part. Parte means part, so it can be the first part of a movie, a prima parte di un film, or when you take part in something, so some kind of events, quando prendi parte a degli eventi. Vita, life. Vita, that means life, life is beautiful, la vita è bella, or if you say vita mia, it will be like, you're my life. Tempo, weather. Tempo means weather, but be careful because tempo also means time. But in this case, it means weather. So, il tempo è bello oggi means the weather is nice today. Yes. Donna, women. Donna means woman and what kind of woman would you like to be? Che tipo di donna vorresti essere? Talking about me, I'm the kind of woman who likes shoes. Sono il tipo di donna a cui piacciono le scarpe. Mano, hand. Mano means hand and la mia mano è grossa. My hand is big or my hand is small. La mia mano è piccola. In Italian, you can ask for a girl's hand. That means if she wants to marry you. So, posso avere la tua mano? Can I have your hand? Posso avere la tua mano? Occhio. Eye. Occhio means eye. My eyes are blue. I miei occhi sono blu. But we use it also to say, watch out. So if you're in the street and a car is coming and people say, occhio, that means watch out. Ora, time. Ora means time and you use that to ask what time is it? Che ora è? Or you can also hear people saying che ore sono. So in the plural way, but the meaning is the same. Ora also means now, something that is happening right now. So are we going? Yes. Siamo andando? Sì. When? Quando? Ora. It's strong. A strong way to say right now, now we're going. Signore. Mister. Signore means mister, so you use that with people that you don't really know. Maybe you can say, mi scusi, signore. Excuse me, mister. And then add your info that you need to know. Even if it's not the same in English, in Italian, if you see signore written with a big S, it can refer to God. Paese. Country. Paese means country, and when people ask you da dove vieni, where are you from, even if they don't mention the word paese, it still means where are you from, which country are you from. Also, we have a way of saying that it's paese che vai, usanza che trovi. It means country you go, tradition that you find. So basically, it means that every country has its own culture. Momento. Moment. Momento means moment, so can you wait a moment, please? Puoi aspettare un momento, per favore? Modo, way, 
Like, what's the best way to get a promotion? Qual è il modo migliore per avere una promozione? And that's a good question. My tip is just be yourself, so you don't stress too much. If it goes well, it's okay, otherwise, nah, you didn't lose anything. Parola, word. Parola means word, so how do you say this word? Come dici questa parola? Also in Italian, if someone is not talking anymore, you can ask them, did you lose your words? Hai perso la parola? Padre, father. Padre means father. For example, my father is a judo teacher. Mio padre è un insegnante di judo. It's fun to do sports with my father. È divertente fare sport con mio padre. If you're talking with your dad, you would say papà. Padre is a bit formal. Punto, point. Punto means point, but for us it's more like dot because we refer to what you put at the end of the phrase. But if you're discussing something, you can say the point is, il punto è, when you would say we're done in English, in Italian it can be punto. That's it. Basta, non voglio più parlarne, punto. Stop it, I don't want to talk anymore. That's it. Lavoro, job. Lavoro means job, so what's your job? Qual è il tuo lavoro? I work at the airport, so il mio lavoro è all'aeroporto. Stato, state. Stato, that means state, has two meanings. The first one can be sono in uno stato pietoso, that means like I'm in a really bad state, don't look at me, I just finished my daily jogging and just don't stay near me. The second one is where do you come from, so which state are you from? Il mio stato è l'Italia, so my state is Italy. Caso, case. Caso means case, and here too we have different meanings. The first one can be by accident, so by chance, we met by chance, l'ho incontrato per caso, or case, like it depends case by case, dipende caso per caso. And the last one that can be, I didn't pay attention on that, non ci ho fatto caso, I'm not sure about that, I don't know. Città, town. Città means town, da che città vieni? Which town do you come from? Or also, la mia città? È al nord dell'Italia. My city is in the north of Italy. Animale. Animal. Animale means animal. What's your favorite animal? My favorite one is a panda. Qual è il tuo animale preferito? Il mio animale preferito è un panda. That's it for today, guys, with the top 25 Italian nouns. And remember to subscribe. Ciao! Hi, guys, I'm Desiree, and I'm here with the top 25 Italian adjectives. Let's go! Grande. Big. My hand is big. La mia mano è grande. The word is big. It's a big, big word. Il mondo è grande. Molto, molto grande. Piccolo. Small. I have a small dog. Ho un piccolo cane. But it's not true. Do you have some animals? Dolce. Sweet. Oh no, there's sweet now. Il gelato è molto dolce. Ice cream is really sweet. You can also use this adjective on people. You're a sweet person. Sei una persona dolce. Diverso, different. People should respect different ways of thinking. La gente dovrebbe rispettare i diversi modi di pensare. In Italian, when you're discussing and you just want to say, no, it's not like that, you can say, no, è diverso. No, it's different. Primo, first. I was the first in my class. Ero la prima nella mia classe. And that's why I didn't have friends. No, it's not true. <laughs> Ultimo, last. As the English last but not least, in Italian we have ultimo ma non meno importante, that means but not less important. Remember, last ones will be the first ones. Gli ultimi saranno i primi. Anziano, old. Oh my god, anziano, old. This word doesn't really mean old, because the word for old is vecchio, but you can't say that referring to people. So if you're talking about someone that is older than you, you would say anziano. We should respect older people. Dovremmo rispettare gli anziani. Lascia il posto a quell'anziano laggiù. Give your seat up to that old person. Giovane, young. La cosa importante è avere uno spirito giovane. The important thing is to have a young spirit. It's a young poet. È un giovane poeta. Carino, pretty. Oh, that child is so pretty. Oh, quel bambino è così carino. What do you think of this dress? Cosa pensi di questo vestito? Mm, yeah, it's pretty. Mm, sì, è carino. Because 
It doesn't really mean that something is fabulous, but still, it's not bad. Bello, beautiful. That's something that you really like. What a beautiful dress. Che bel vestito. What a beautiful woman. Che bella donna. But be careful when you address to something plural, because it's bei capelli, beautiful hair, or begli occhi, beautiful eyes. Brutto, ugly. It's something that you don't like, but it doesn't really have to be just about appearance. Like, what an ugly dress, che brutto vestito, but also, I got a bad mark would be, ho preso un brutto voto. Buono, good. You can use that for food, of course. It's really good, it's really buono. Buonissimo, it's the best. Or even for other things, for example, I got my exams back and they're really good. Ho avuto i miei risultati e sono buoni. Cattivo, bad. The service was great, but the food was bad. Il servizio era ottimo, ma il cibo era cattivo. Or something like, cattivo cane, cattivo cane. Bad dog, bad dog. Bravo, capable. That means you're really able to do something. Bravo, bravissimo. It's a bit childish, maybe, but still everyone likes it. Nuovo, new. Oh, you got a new car. Oh, hai una macchina nuova. How much did you pay that? Quanto l'hai pagata? I would really like a new laptop, un computer nuovo. But yeah, maybe for Christmas. And after Christmas, you can say Happy New Year, Felice Anno Nuovo. Alto, tall. My brother is really tall. Mio fratello è molto alto. But it also means high. La mia voce è molto alta. My voice is really high. Maybe. <laughs> Basso, short. Mario gets mad if you call him short. Mario si arrabbia se lo chiami basso. Basso also means low. So again, my voice is low. La mia voce è bassa. Puoi alzare il volume? È troppo basso, non riesco a sentire. Can you turn up the volume? It's too low, I can't hear anything. Vero? True? Means that something is not false, of course, so non è falso, è vero. But you can also use it as an interjection, so to say yes, yes, if people is talking to you. Perché comunque la gente sai come fa. Mm, vero, vero. Because you know people, how they do. Yeah, true, true. That's the way to use that. Aperto, open. È aperto oggi il negozio. Is the shop open today? You can also use to say open-minded, so aperto mentalmente. Chiuso, closed. Is the restaurant closed today? Il ristorante è chiuso oggi. Caro, expensive. Do you want to go to that shop? Vuoi andare in quel negozio? No, it's too expensive. No, è troppo costoso. But also you can use it to say dear, like oh dear, oh caro. Or to say, oh, poor you, oh, caro. Yeah, there are a lot of ways. Depends on your intonation. Economico, cheap. Oh, then let's go to the other shop. Oh, allora andiamo all'altro negozio. Yes, I like that way better. It's so cheap. Sì, lo preferisco molto. È così economico. Difficile, difficult. Sometimes learning a new language can be difficult. Qualche volta imparare una lingua nuova può essere difficile. Maybe more than sometimes, but don't give up. Ma non mollare. We can do that together. Possiamo farcela insieme. Facile. Easy. È più facile di quello che sembra. It's easier than it seems. I hope. Like for me, it's really easy to make new friends, but I know that for someone maybe it seems so hard. So yeah, it's easier than it seems. È più facile di quello che sembra. Divertente. Fun. I thought the movie was really fun. Penso che il film fosse veramente divertente. I hope this is a fun video for you guys. Spero sia un video divertente per voi ragazzi. Okay guys, that's the end. Thank you for watching me with the top 25 Italian adjectives. See you soon. Ciao ciao. It's not like, whoa, whoa it's... Eh. Can I have a voice? A high voice? Hi guys, I'm Desiree. And today we're gonna check together the 10 questions that you should know. Come stai? How are you? In a basic conversation, this would be maybe the first question that people ask you. For example, ciao, come stai? Ciao, bene, tu? Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks, you? Cos'hai detto? What did you say? This is a useful question. You can also add, can you repeat, please? Puoi ripetere, per favore? If you say this in a bad way, like, che cos'hai detto? What did you say? Che cos'hai detto su di me? What did you say about me? It can also be a starting point for a discussion, for an argument. 
just go with the plain tone. Cosa hai detto? Puoi ripetere? That's why I advise you to add Puoi ripetere per favore? Can you repeat, please? Di dove sei? Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Sono italiana. This is a question that usually refers to your country, to your nationality. Dov'è il bagno? Where's the bathroom? You can use this question with everything you need to know the place of. For example, dov'è la cucina? Where is the kitchen? Dov'è l'ufficio? Where's the office? Dov'è la scuola? Where's the school? Just put the place that you need to know about after dove è. You can also say, you can also put a street name. Dove è Via della Francia, for example. Dove abiti? Where do you live? This is more specific than di dove sei. For example, when you already know where the person you're talking to comes from, you can add dove abiti. For example, I live in Turin. Io abito a Torino. By the way, if you don't know it, it's a city in the north of Italy. Like here. Dove abiti can also refer to what kind of house do you have? Like, are you living in an apartment, or a mansion, or a house? Yeah, you can ask this question with dove abiti. Dove lavori? Where do you work? It's another easy question that people would ask you when you're talking about yourself. And you can answer, io lavoro all'aeroporto. I work at the airport, for example. Or I work at the supermarket. Lavoro al supermercato. Che lavoro fai? What kind of work do you do? What is your job? Another question that would come together with dove lavori can be che lavoro fai? What job do you do? What's your job? Qual è il tuo lavoro? Quanti anni hai? How old are you? As I said in another video, in Italian you don't answer I am 20, sono 20 anni, but you say I have 20 years old, io ho 20 anni. Dove hai imparato l'italiano? Where did you learn Italian? Ho imparato l'italiano a scuola. I learned Italian at school. I learned Italian by myself. Ho imparato l'italiano da solo. Another question that would come together with dove hai imparato l'italiano or another way of asking this would be come hai imparato l'italiano? How did you learn Italian? And you can answer, for example, I learned Italian listening to songs. Ho imparato l'italiano ascoltando canzoni. If you manage, that's great for you. Bravo. Ti piace la cucina italiana? Do you like Italian food? For example, lasagne, pizza, gelato. I can go on forever, but I will stop here and tell you that another question that will come for, for sure is Qual è il tuo piatto italiano preferito? What is your favorite Italian dish? That was the last of our 10 questions you should know. Please let me know if you have other questions you would like to know about and remember to subscribe. Bye bye! Ciao ciao! Hi guys! Ciao ragazzi! I'm Desire, and today we're gonna learn together 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. Ho studiato l'italiano per un anno. I've been learning Italian for a year. Ho studiato l'italiano per... I've been learning Italian for... And then you add the time you've been learning Italian for. For example, you can say... Ho studiato l'italiano per un anno. I've been learning Italian for one year. Or... In my case, for English would be, ho studiato l'inglese per otto anni. I've been learning English for eight years. Il mio nome è Desiree. My name is Desiree. Il mio nome è, my name is, in my case, of course, my name is Desiree. Il mio nome è Desiree. You can just add your name. You can also say, mi chiamo. It, it means, I'm called. So, yeah, I'm, mi chiamo Desiree. I'm called Desiree. Ciao, è un piacere conoscerti. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Ciao, è un piacere conoscerti. Hi, it's nice to meet you. When, for example, you're inside a big group and you go like one by one introducing yourself, maybe you don't say every time è un piacere conoscerti, but you just say piacere, pleasure. And it's okay, it's nice. Vengo dall'Italia. I'm from Italy. Vengo da means I'm from, for example, I'm from Italy, vengo dall'Italia, 
I'm from Dubai. Vengo da Dubai. So, vengo da, you can put the country name or the city place, it's the same. Vivo a Roma. I live in Rome. Vivo a, I live in. Vivo a Torino. I live in Turin. Vivo a Roma. I live in Rome. I live in New York. Vivo a New York. If you want to say the country, just put in. If you want to put the city, it's a. Vivo a Torino. Vivo in Italia. Sono insegnante. I'm a teacher. Sono. And then you say your profession. I'm. When you're talking about your job, for example, sono insegnante. I'm a teacher. Or sono un pescatore. I'm a fisher, fisherman. Anyway, sono, that means I am. It's the way to say what you're doing as a job, too. So you just say I am and then your profession. Ho 22 anni. I'm 22 years old. Ho 22 anni. Ho numero anni. So I'm number years. I'm 22 years old. Io ho 22 anni. In Italian we don't say I am but I have. So io ho means I have and then you put your number of years. So io ho 22 anni means I'm 22 years old but literally is I have. Mi piace ascoltare la musica. I enjoy listening to music. Mi piace, I enjoy, I like. For example, mi piace ascoltare la musica. I like listening to music. Mi piace leggere libri. I like reading books. Or mi piace molto mangiare. I enjoy eating a lot. Uno dei miei hobby è la lettura. One of my hobbies is reading. One of my hobby is reading. Uno dei miei hobby è la lettura. But you can also say uno dei miei hobby è leggere. So leggere with the verb or lettura, it's a noun. You can put both after one of my hobbies. Uno dei miei hobby è. Sto imparando l'italiano su italianpod101.com. I'm learning Italian at italianpod101.com. Sto imparando l'italiano con Desiree. I'm learning Italian with Desiree. Sto imparando l'italiano da solo. I'm learning Italian by myself. Or sto imparando l'italiano attraverso la televisione. I'm learning Italian through television. I'm learning Italian listening to music. Sto imparando l'italiano ascoltando canzoni. You're great. That's a great way to do that. That was the 10 of lines you need for introducing yourself. I hope you enjoyed and you found it useful. Thank you for all your comments. I'll read every of them and I'm happy I can be useful for you to learn Italian somehow. I hope this video helped you too. So comment if you want to and remember to subscribe. Bye bye. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for express trains. Treni espresso. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in?
The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Carrozza 1, fila 8, posto C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Giorni festivi, terza domenica di ogni mese. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, train passing through. Treno in transito. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Uscita est. Una donna sta chiedendo qualcosa ad un commesso in una libreria. Quale libro voleva vedere la donna? Mi scusi, vorrei dare un'occhiata ad un libro su quello scaffale. Quale libro vorrebbe? Il libro sulle macchine. Aspetti un attimo, per favore. Questo? Esatto! Eccolo! Quale libro voleva vedere la donna? Una donna sta chiedendo qualcosa ad un commesso in una libreria. Quale libro voleva vedere la donna? Mi scusi, vorrei dare un'occhiata ad un libro su quello scaffale. Quale libro vorrebbe? Il libro sulle macchine. Aspetti un attimo, per favore. Questo? Esatto! Eccolo! Un uomo e una donna stanno guardando un menù in un ristorante. Che cosa ha ordinato l'uomo? Che cosa vorreste ordinare? Questa pizza sembra deliziosa. La prendo. Io ho mangiato la pizza ieri, quindi... Ah, allora che ne dici di questo hamburger? Sembra una buona idea. Lo prendo. Che cosa ha ordinato l'uomo? Un uomo e una donna stanno guardando un menù in un ristorante. Che cosa ha ordinato l'uomo? Che cosa vorreste ordinare? 
Questa pizza sembra deliziosa. La prendo. Io ho mangiato la pizza ieri, quindi... Ah, allora che ne dici di questo hamburger? Sembra una buona idea. Lo prendo. Un uomo sta parlando con un ambulatorio medico al telefono. L'uomo entro che ora deve andare lì? Pronto, come posso aiutarla? Quando siete aperti oggi? Fino alle 6, ma per favore venga prima delle 5.30. Ok. L'uomo entro che ora deve andare lì? Un uomo sta parlando con un ambulatorio medico al telefono. L'uomo entro che ora deve andare lì? Pronto, come posso aiutarla? Quando siete aperti oggi? Fino alle 6, ma per favore venga prima delle 5.30. Ok. Un ragazzo legge il suo diario. Che cosa ha fatto il ragazzo per prima cosa in quella giornata? Oggi faceva veramente bel tempo. Questo pomeriggio sono andato in una piscina. E di sera sono andato a vedere un film. Inoltre, di mattina ho studiato. È stata proprio una bella giornata. Che cosa ha fatto il ragazzo per prima cosa in quella giornata? Un ragazzo legge il suo diario. Che cosa ha fatto il ragazzo per prima cosa in quella giornata? Oggi faceva veramente bel tempo. Questo pomeriggio sono andato in una piscina. E di sera sono andato a vedere un film. Inoltre, di mattina ho studiato. È stata proprio una bella giornata. Un uomo e una donna stanno guardando una foto. Che foto stanno guardando? È la foto della squadra di calcio di tuo figlio, no? Qual è tuo figlio? Questo. Ah, è il più alto della squadra. È più alto di me. Che foto stanno guardando? Un uomo e una donna stanno guardando una foto. Che foto stanno guardando? È la foto della squadra di calcio di tuo figlio, no? Qual è tuo figlio? Questo. Ah, è il più alto della squadra. È più alto di me. Great work! Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.